planning capacity additions. The result? At least 11 former residential solar market leaders shuttered, bankrupt, or bought for pennies on the dollar. Then, tariffs hit the sector, increasing costs for solar imports. Enter one of the survivors, SunPower. It restructured in 2018, shed some of its businesses to focus on its core, selling, installing, and financing. It received an exemption from the government for some of its high-efficiency product imports and just posted its first profitable quarter in four years. And now, demand could really ramp up. California has issued a mandate that requires new homes to run on solar in 2020. Plus, a developer can claim a 30% tax credit for solar projects as long as they start construction by the end of the year. And SunPower hopes this time to be a winner.